Hello, everybody. Uh, I know, shock, it's not Pat today. Um, that being said, uh, it's Brian. Uh, we're going to do something a little different today. Uh, we've, we've got Legacy, uh, and we've got a fun Legacy deck. It's Goblin Charbelcher. The whole, basically, the whole point of this deck is to hopefully get your uh, single land out of your deck, play a whole bunch of mana producing things, play a Goblin Charbelcher, and flip your entire deck, killing your opponent. That if, that being said, there is an alternate uh, win condition here of just storming off with a massive empty the Warrens on turn one. Uh, but uh, this will be this will be fun. Uh, really, dampening spheres uncommon. Okay then, and hey, my skull. Uh, I I, wow, that's that's good for the pricing of it. Um, some of you may be looking at the sideboard, going, "Wow, that's a lot of one ofs." Uh, but that's okay because really there are only four cards we're ever going to be sideboarding in, in our from our sideboard. The rest of it is all tutor targets for uh uh where'd it go? Uh it's in here somewhere. Here it is. Uh for uh Burning Wish here. And what that does is it lets us go to our sideboard for two mana and pull out any sorcery card we want. Uh, so that lets us just have answers for everything and anything. Um, but that being said, uh, we will be boarding in sometimes Ancient Grudge if we have to hit an artifact. Uh, the other great card here is uh, Xantid Swarm because there's only one thing that can stop us. If, if we've got a decent hand, there's only one thing that can stop us from killing turn one, and that is Force of Will. So how do we uh, get around that? We play Xantid Swarm turn one, attack with it. After It doesn't even have to survive the attack. Once it attacks, the defending player can't cast spells this turn, meaning we're safe to play anything we want and not have to worry about a single counter spell. So really this deck only ever sideboards against blue decks. Otherwise, we're just trying to win before they do. Uh, it's, it's a fun deck. Uh, we're going to take it through... Uh, couple matches we'll, we'll see how long it takes um we'll prop with this deck we'll probably get through a good number of games because you either win or lose by like turn two or three and it's pretty obvious when you've lost So, this hand feels a little awkward, but I think we can land grant for our taiga. Chrome Mox, a Tinder Wall, so that's two spells. Use the Mox to cast a Tinder Wall, Spirit Guide cast it. Yeah, we can go a decent size empty turn one. So, uh, let's keep this and uh, hope we don't just outright die. Alright, Chancellor of the Annex. So we can't kill turn one. Um, that's okay. Uh, we'll just uh, hold off and hopefully win on the next turn. Or we may just be dead. We'll see. Bear with me, just so you guys know, I don't play Legacy regularly, so there will be mistakes made. Huh. Yeah, 
That's what I figured we were going to be dealing against. Uh, that's unfortunate. Okay, we actually are in a good pit place here because uh, we can uh, uh, run out this Lotus Petal into the Chancellor's uh, effects and uh, just have it can't uh, be uh, countered and still get a whole bunch of goblins. And that actually adds to our storm count as well, which is good. Out punt, but that's okay. Uh, I forgot that we can't, uh, that Chancellor has that effect on it himself. That's okay. No worries. We're, uh, we don't, I don't think we bother sideboarding, uh, much of anything here. Actually, I don't think we sideboard anything because we're going, A, a we're going first, and B, I don't think there's anything that we really want main board here that'll, uh, help against Reanimator. So this hand has a whole lot of mana and nothing else. We can't keep this. Let's see. One. One, two. So we have three mana. And one redraw. So I'm actually probably going to keep this because we get a decent draw off get probe and we might actually be able to do something that's not what we wanted to see let's get let's get probe our opponent and see what we're dealing with here So they don't have, uh, let's see, Exhum. okay, so they have a turn one in Tomb Exhum. We may, might be dead. Let's see what we draw off our uh, Gitaxian Probe. Does that get us there? One, let's just cast that, so it gets us two to cast, I have three, four. Still a little mana short. So we're going to pass the turn because we might be able to win next turn depending on what we draw. Okay, that, that's interesting. And let's see, so that into that, I think that gets us enough. Let's see. So we need six mana to, to cast Burning Wish and a uh, uh, Empty the Warrens. We need seven, uh, yeah, seven mana to act, play and activate Charbelcher. Uh, so land grant gets us one, lets us pay the tinder wall, puts us at two mana. Lotus petal puts us at three. Ritual spends two, puts us at four. Uh, Rite of flame, five, six. So we can do a decent sized 
empty the warrens here. I think that's what we're going to go for. Uh, so we can... The nice thing about land grant is we don't have a land in our hands, so we can just reveal our hand saying, look, we don't have a land, and search up our land. Let's cast that. Let's sacrifice our tinder wall. Cast a rite of flame. Cast Desperate Ritual. Does my math off? My math was off. It's okay. We'll play Charbelcher here and hope we draw something next turn. Or we're probably dead anyways. A lot of our deck produces enough mana that we should be okay here. Oh! So with Exhum, we just win because we can now activate, or yeah, we can activate the Char Belcher by sacrificing the Tinder Wall. Sacrificing the Lotus Petal. And our opponent just gave us the win. And so Car Goblin Charbelcher is we reveal the top card of our library until we reveal a land card. Goblin Charbelcher deals damage equal to the number of non-land cards revealed this way to target creature or player. Then if the revealed land card was a mountain, Goblin Charbelcher deals double that damage instead. And then you put the revealed cards on the bottom of your library in any order. We pulled out our one and only land, so we just flipped our library over and, and killed our opponent. Is this control to... Is the zoom in. Ah, that's zoom in. There we go. Bear with me. I don't do a, necessarily a whole lot of moto up until now, and... I don't play Legacy at all, so. Um. I think we keep this because with a. Not. If we get mana. Let's see. Petal into flame. That's two, three. Uh. Yeah, we might. Well, yes, until now. <laughs> hey. The, the, Pat, this deck basically is playing solitaire. Let, let's be honest. Um, I'm going to keep this just because... on the We're on the draw, and we do have a Gitaxian Probe and a Manamorphose to draw us into more mana. Let's first off see what where our opponent is doing with this Gitaxian probe. Uh, all right. So that'll be a turn two. No, they don't have turn two because they can't loot anything. Okay, we've got time. And that is the win right there. Uh, with Lion's Eye Diamond, um, we go Lotus Petal. Rate of Flame is two. Ritual gets us to three. We play the LED, uh, which we can sacrifice for three mana. We exile the Elvish Spirit Guide. Play the Goblin Char Belcher. Pray the mountain or that our land is uh, way far down, and activate Char Belcher. 
And we got there. So Goblin Char Belcher is free wins, but we just die to uh, Force of Will if it's a Char Belcher, or if we're, yeah, if we're going in on a Char Belcher. Uh, yeah, that's why I kept that was two cantrips uh, with basically, I needed one more mana source. And we happened to get LED, which let us go Char, uh, Char Belcher. But the deck is fun. Um, I enjoy this deck. It 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 loses a lot, but hey, it's a combo deck. Yo, yes, that that's the thing. It loses either to force of will or itself. There is no. There, there is nothing else. <laughs> the, the, the good thing is, you take if you take this to a tournament, you have time to go get lunch between every round. Yes, we would like to play first. Uh, yes, Pat. Just like the mono red deck. Uh... Huh. I, I don't think we can keep this. One, two, three. We're short some mana. In fact, we're short one mana. I almost... Actually, you know what? I, I almost think we keep this and try for a turn two, not a turn one. Let's see what happens. Uh, the other thing is we're not going to cast the land grant now because... If next turn we draw a um, empty the warrens, I want to keep the land can land grant for our storm count uh, for more goblins. So we're going to just pass the turn, which seems a little odd, but Is our opponent doing? They're probably very confused on what we're doing. Cloud post, okay. And chalice on zero. Okay. And empty the warrens off the top here would be great. Uh, tch, 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 tch. Okay, so I can't chalice. Um, it's one. Okay. So we're just going to discard one of our Char Belchers right now because they aren't actually doing anything. And even though the Chalice is on zero, we can still Chrome Mox for Storm Count. And hope we don't die very, very quickly. Yep, 
Uh, so transfer is a problem for us, and we can't actually win through that. It was a sketchy keep. Probably should have mulliganed it, but that's okay. Probably should have brought in the grudge. Oh well. Yes, we would like to play first. Um, land grant in ah, uh, let's see. So that is that gets that that gets us two, three. So that's four, five. So tinder wall lets us or land grant lets us cast tinder wall. So it's this ritual. Lotus Petal lets us write a flame three, four, five. So I'm going to keep this because we are liter we literally need to draw one card to win. We one we need two more mana sort two more mana uh to be able to actually do something so we're gonna yes yes welcome to jar uh, char belcher so we're just going to uh hold because again we've got enough for a decent sized empty the warrens so I don't want to waste storm count in case we top deck the empty. This is going to be a chalice on one. No, sorcerer spyglass on charbelcher, I would assume. I'm assuming with the sorcerer spyglass, they're naming goblin charbelcher. They named Goblin Charbelcher. So, would really love just a. Uh, there's the chalice on zero. Okay. Well, that that just happened. Uh, so we can't. We can't actually activate the char belcher. So I'm gonna just pass discarding to hand size, discarding the char belcher because I want to keep things that I can cast for storm. Uh, yes, Pat, you you just missed that. Yeah, damping sphere is uncommon. That is uh, super good for the price of it. Uh, it looked like a rare. I. Yeah. Are, Pat, are you really complaining that dampening sphere is uncommon?
well. Uh, our opponent has a lot of mana next turn. Alright, let's get probe. Uh, it, it's, this is uh, Cloud Post. Uh, that is an Ugin. Ugh. Okay. Yeah, that's that's not what I wanted to see. I still have a couple outs. Um, so I do have a uh, Goblin War Strike, I believe is the card. Um, so for seven mana I can with a burning wish I can tutor up a uh, uh, a uh, uh, empty the Warrens cast a whole bunch of um, or create a whole bunch of goblins and then for one mana goblin war strike reads uh, deal damage to target player uh, equal to the number of goblins you control Uh, so we're not out of this yet, especially if they keep using Ancient Tomb to do damage. But we kind of need that sooner rather than later. going to be able to come back from this at this point. So we're just going to take the loss because that's what this deck does. Um, so you've, you've, you've seen both sides of I just win and the deck flounders around because that's what it sometimes happens. That, that I will say the, the Sorcerer Spyglass did... Uh, cause some problems. Ah, oh, yeah, so he is. Uh, yeah, a Goblin Shower Belcher. That, that's all I have to say. It, it gets free wins. Ooh, I love the art on that dampening sphere too. Uh no, I I probably would not play oops all spells. Um Uh, so this is actually a turn one win, um, because land grant is one land mana, spirit guide, spirit guide into seething song, gives us enough to cast the char belcher, LED lets us activate it. Yes, I just win here. Provided they don't disrupt what I'm doing, because they are on the play. Okay, we just win here because our opponent is playing some sort of lands. Uh, yeah, but 
the odds of them having a force leading with a thespian stage are sl are a lot lower. Tiger didn't want to tap properly. Okay, whatever. Uh, so the yeah, that the Tiger didn't tap apparently. I'm not sure why it did that. I I thought I had it looked like it had, um, but I don't know why it. Did that. I'm, I'm glad I'm not the only one who was thinking that. Yeah, the tiger tapped and then untapped. Okay, so I'm not crazy. Um, I don't think we actually board anything here against lands. Yeah, Modo. Hey, we still won. That's that's all that matters. <laughs> uh, I'm. I mean, it depends on. We saw a thespian stage. I don't know. I don't know it, what they're actually playing, so, and we're up a game, I, I think it's easier just to ship it back. That, see, that's exactly the thing. If it's turbo depths, yeah, then yeah. Uh, this land gets us, abs or this hand gets us absolutely nowhere. Hmm. Let's see. If I do that to that, oh, let's me cast that. And this hand, <sighs> this whole priority is control. Okay. Um. So theoretically, with one more mana source, this hand does something because we can play chrome mass in chrome mocks imprinting tinder wall cast the tinder wall cast the led one more mana for seething song we can burning wish with the burning wish on the stack crack led create a bunch of goblins i think i'm going to keep this we'll see what because we do have the scry and we are on the draw and that solves all our problems. What 
is pithy needle naming? I'm hoping they just name uh, Goblin Char Belcher and we can... I'm hoping they named Goblin Char Belcher and they kept this hand because it had a pithy needle. Yeah. Uh, I believe... LED is a because it's a mana ability. I don't believe Pithy Needle affects it. Okay. Okay, they did name Goblin Char Belcher. So let's land Grant. That's quite possible what was going on there. Uh, cast the Chrome Mox. Dump a Tinder Wall. Use that to cast Tinder Wall. Cast the LED. Seething song. It is control to hold priority. So what we did there is we emptied our hand and then with the, the uh, spell still on the stack we held priority so we could cast the LED before we got, it is turbo depths, uh, before we got the empty the warren so we didn't have, we don't have to discard it. So we just have to hope they don't get uh, Dark Depths in the next two turns. So if this does go to a game three, we will bring in the ancient grudge. Just we can hit needle. We can there there are enough things we can hit. Hey, we just won. Sweet. So we are two one with this deck so far. I hope everyone's uh, enjoying watching me flounder playing Legacy. <laughs> Because I don't know most of the, the decks. I know a couple of the big ones, but I just don't play enough Legacy normally. Uh, yes, we would like to go first. I don't know why Moto likes to keep doing that. Uh, huh. This hand doesn't get us anywhere. This gets us a turn one char belcher with no activation. I 
think I'm gonna keep this because with a draw, uh, with a decent draw, uh, we can cast and activate. The, we're we're three mana. We're short of an. Actually, we're two mana short at the moment. So that's a lot of cards in our deck. So we're gonna keep this and just not do anything, huh? I'm actually going to keep the mana morphos because it it's 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 mana neutral and it does dig um it's not exactly what we want but it doesn't hurt either So we're going to start by doing the land grant. Because we, we're going to reveal our hand, and I'd rather reveal that we have a Manamorphose than reveal we drew the Manamorphose. Or, or rather, what we draw with the Manamorphose. Um, so I'm going to play the Chrome Mox, uh, imprinting the Simeon Spirit Guide on it. And we are going to metamorphose, and we're we're going to create one red, one green, uh, because that lets us basically cast most things. All right. Well, let's see what they're working with. Okay, they do not have a force, they have a daze. Oh, they do have the force, there it is. Okay, so... We're not going to go all in on the... Char Belcher, because... Yeah, thanks. I, I, I didn't see it because it was the invocation. Um... So what we really need is a decent sized uh, um, empty the warrens. So we're just going to hold off and call that a turn as much as I hate to say that. Yes, that, that is true. They don't have a fast hand, so I'm okay playing around a force here. And they're going to hold that. They're going to keep that force for a while because they know I have the Char Belcher. And we're going to take some damage from the best planeswalk, the best one mana planeswalker in the game, but uh, that's Deathrite Shaman, and not much we can do about it. Ooh, that, that hurts. Okay, we're going to lose our Char Belcher.
Sea theme song. Okay. Sure. So we know they still have Force Days, and this hand is ridiculous. Sure, I get that. I... Uh, quite possibly. I don't know enough about Legacy to know what this tech actually is, other than I'm dying to death right shaman. We're getting beat in the face by a Deathrite Shaman. Um, man, we're not getting very lucky here. So we're probably dead here. Yeah, we're we're just going to die here. That's okay. I again, you're you're seeing both sides of this deck. Just for fun, let's see what we draw. If they let this even resolve. Yeah. Alright, so this is a matchup where uh, Xantid Swarm definitely comes in. Um, because we're running a slightly slower game with that I am going to cut uh, some of the rituals come on um, I'm gonna cut two th two seething songs one uh, desperate ritual uh, again we're, we're, we're looking to slow the game down enough where we can fight through counter spells so we're looking at turn two turn three instead of turn one I hope everyone's having fun and, and enjoying watching me do probably about average for Char Belcher. <laughs> we're, we're this I have a feeling we're gonna go two two after this, so that that's probably a little better than average. I mean Belcher just gets free wins. That's how it works. Um and sometimes your opponent gets free wins off of Char Belcher. I 
I, there's there's nothing I can do to increase my luck attribute. Um. Yeah, we're going to keep this because we're going to just turn one Xantid Swarm, turn two. Let's see, that gives us one, two, one, two, three. Yeah, we're going to keep this, see what we draw, because it's a pretty good hand. The Xantid Swarm, along with the Empty, makes this much better. they going to do they're gonna force of will the xantid swarm wow that seems aggressive exiling a snapcaster too that was aggressive Uh, either, it, yeah, it probably means they have another counter effect, but they are on five cards right now. And they're deep in the tank at this point. If we go Chrome Mox, Imprinting, Burning Wish. Well, I yeah, that's exactly. I think I just have to go for this. Uh, play the Chrome Mox, imprint the Burning Wish. Play the Ritual. Play just play the Land Grant, and hope they don't counter the Ritual. See, here's the thing. They have to counter the ritual or they're getting a whole bunch of goblins on the battlefield. They just have to counter this. And if they do, okay, great. We just reset and try again with, a, with another draw. And it resolved. Okay. So we're going to cast Land Grant just for the storm count. don't actually have a uh, something to grab but we're again we're just casting it for the count okay Oh, 
the fluster storm. Oh. Oh, that fluster storm. That was well played from our opponent. They, they had the single counter spell that would secure the game for them. That explains why they uh, force of willed the uh, Xanted Swarm. That was that was a very good hand from our opponent to keep, and that happens. everybody is in again enjoying all of this I haven't actually looked are there any good spoilers that have come out today other than Dampney's fear being uncommon uh, yes we would like to play first I I mean One, so that, so one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, this hand is really, really good, actually. Uh, on turn one, yes, please. We are going to keep this. And we are going to start with the Git Probe. And they have not a single force of will. And wow, uh, this might, yeah, wow, this is a really good uh, thing. Okay. <laughs> okay, uh, we drew the empty, but that's, so what I'm actually gonna do is probably exile the empty to the chrome mox just to be um, or do I hold on this this may change things so that gives me one two gives me two three four five six no we're still So, uh, so uh, Sir Wing, what I'm looking for here is do I have enough money to empty w Wish and wish for a Bernie or a Goblin War Strike just to win the game and and then play the Goblin War Strike? I still think the proper move here is Chrome Mox, the Simeon Spirit Guide, Right of Flame, Right of Flame. Burning Wish for Goblin War Strike, cast empty, and then win? Because that gets me. So that's one mana, two, three, four, five, six. That, yeah, that is enough. Okay. So we're going to Chrome Mox, exiling the Simeon Spirit Guide. We're then going to write a flame, 
right of flame. Oh no, I was off by one mana. Okay, that's okay. We can still just empty for four and be really, really good. Because next turn we can just burning, we can attack, maybe draw something that produces mana, burning wish for Goblin War Strike, and just win right then and there. Uh, yeah, thank you. I, I, again, I don't play this deck enough that I don't have all the math. I'm off and off by one. Uh, yeah, our opponent just conceded, because, yeah. Uh, so they are blue, so Xantid Swarms come in. We're gonna pull out one Seething Song, one Ritual... Come on, pull out a ritual. Um, I still, th I think, actually, a second desperate ritual is the proper pull. But let me. Oh, a chrome box. There we go. That's what I was wanting to pull. So I th think this is fine, because we can turn one the Xantid Swarm. We ha we're on the draw. We're going to turn two something anyway, so I'm going to keep this. Yeah, exactly, JC. We we've got the mana, the, man to the swarm, the mana to cast the swarm, and enough other mana. This is... This might just be... Do I just have the kill here? Or, or, or at least a decent sized empty? Is two storm worth... Ri no, we just go for it. I think we just go for it here. I mean, we're going to see what... It, hopefully they... We're, we're going to cast the Xantid and see what they do. Okay, so they let the Xantid Swarm resolve. Do we just go for it? Knowing that we can... Yeah, I think we just go. Wow. Somehow we pulled something off. Wow. So the only thing I have to be concerned here is a fluster storm? Yep. Okay. That's fine.
Yep. Fluster storm. That's okay. Get pro pedal. Uh, let's see. One, two. Yeah, I'm going to keep this because it has everything we need and it has a get probe. We might just win on the spot. They have no force. We're good. Okay. Cast the tinder wall. Sack the lotus puddle. There we go. So, g Goblin Char Belcher is fun uh, as a win con, but let's be honest, a lot of the time. You're just winning off of empty the warrens. Sure, you brainstorm. saw that coming. That's okay. Yep. Yes, that's exactly what he can do with that brainstorm. But the hand was pretty slow, if I remember. So we have a little time. And we've got our opponent to eight. Okay. Yeah. It's okay, we have plenty of life to play with taking beats from a 2 1. Entreat, on the other hand, uh, speeds that clock up. This is Jeskai Miracles, I'm assuming? 
Okay. So six damage a turn. Got three turns to do something. So this will be interesting to see what he what they uh, put on top. We may just be dead here. Yep, we are just dead. And that's okay. So we went 2-3 uh, with uh, Goblin Char Belcher. That seems pretty nice. I mean, uh, so this is the deck. Uh, hopefully I'll be streaming some more uh, magic in general. Uh, probably Thursdays for the foreseeable future about this time. Uh, we'll, you know, keep everyone updated if that changes. Uh, Thanks everyone for showing up. I hope you had fun, and uh, I will see everybody. If if you show up uh, Monday, we do our standard live paper testing. I'll be there. Uh, no, if not, uh, I hope you join me next uh, Thursday. Have a good day, everybody.